So I'm starting my next project, um, and it's going to be a similar butchering series that I did on pigs and chickens, but this one's going to be on lambs. I just picked these two ewes up yesterday, and actually it was a pretty good deal. I butchered a bunch of chickens yesterday, and I found a lady that wanted to trade. So I ended up trading 30 chickens for these two lambs, and I'm going to essentially just kind of grain feed them a little bit of alfalfa for the next... Uh, I think in probably a month and a half, two months, and then I'm going to do a few videos on, on the processing, you know, the slaughter process, and all that stuff. So, anyway, this is kind of a little bit of a preview. Uh, these particular sheep are called Jacob sheep, and they are, I guess, would be considered kind of an old world sheep. You know, they're... Um, kind of cool looking. So anyway, I can see if I can zoom in here on them a little bit and give you a better look at them. I don't know if that's any better, but they're still a little bit nervous and then being moved. But uh, so far they haven't gone all wild and jumped through the fence or anything, so that's good. But uh, th these ones, like I said, are used, but the rams on these can get up to six horns and giant. I looked at a couple that was on the farm that I picked these up at, and they're a pretty amazing critter. But uh, anyway, these two are just going to be uh, for the freezer. And I've got them, basically this is my, my pig yard. And I had that last batch of chickens out here, 150 of them. So it's beat down a little bit, but I've reseeded and, and we're watering. So they'll have some natural grazing. And then I'll run inside the barn here and show you what else I'm going to feed them here for the next little bit. So the feed's pretty straightforward. It's just a 14% livestock blend. And... He's got to make sure, you know, it's one that's uh, acceptable for sheep to eat. This one is. It's also non-medicated because uh, they're healthy and I don't uh, see any, any reason to give them anything if you don't need to. So, anyway, they'll be getting some of that every day. And on the barn here, it's a little dark. Uh, I've cut this down a little bit from where my normal pig area over here, just so I have less to deal with brought them in dog carriers that's why it's in there I'm gonna get that out there later today and then the only thing I'm really else feeding them is just um, alfalfa so that's hopefully enough nutrition to get them kind of a little bit chubbier and ready to butcher here a little bit later in the fall so when I picked these up uh, the one there on the left when we were getting them loaded she broke her horn which was actually kind of a bloody mess, but apparently these grow them back. She's totally fine today. We put a little of that purple antibiotic spray on it, and she's totally recovered. So that was the only kind of little bit of the rodeo action uh, getting them here. But uh, she's doing good now. They're a little nervous, but like I said, they're, you know, they're starting to move around a little bit, checking out their new space. And I'll see if I can get you a little closer look at them. So we're about halfway there. Uh, doing good. I was you know, trying to find some things to uh, pass on informationally about uh, raising these, but uh, they're just kind of doing their thing. Uh, one thing I did kind of learn, you know, with the grain and alfalfa, since these guys were mostly just out on pasture, nah. you want to kind of work them into that because both of them uh, ended up uh, kind of tearing up their stomachs a little bit. But I don't think it, you know, didn't hurt or anything. I think they just weren't quite used to that rich of food but anyway they're uh moved past that and gobbling it down now so um a couple more weeks we'll be ready to go so i'm um, back it's probably been i guess maybe six weeks these guys uh i've gotten a lot less nervous i was gonna do more of a how to raising them like i've done with chickens and pigs but there's really not much to it. They just get a little grain every day and some alfalfa, and then they've got just their normal forage outside. And they seem to be pretty healthy and happy. So, anyway, uh, we're going to get these guys uh, butchered in the morning. Uh, this is the last feed. Uh, we'll probably use a little to get them in the barn, and then I'm probably going to just close them in here and go from there. So, like I said, I'm going to do a part two on this one, actually breaking down you know, the lambs and how you cut them. So, uh, there'll be a link once I have that video up down here below in the description. And 
we'll get uh, get on to that next part too. So, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.